Text your girlfriends, I am your girlfriend, and let them know that we are on live right now, honey, on the radio show, honey, and we are on live here on the uh, on the air. I'm talking with the girls online, so I decided to come on for this topic, this relationship topic. Honey. Oh, girls, I'm over here, yeah, okay? Okay, Nicole. Like in the past, my man found out that I was looking at Bunker Bunker's bitch getting killed and he was traumatized the whole time. Yeah. Nicole, okay, can, okay, can I, uh, can I, can I say, can I say, can I say what I want to say first of all, ladies, okay? You know, since we're talking about this topic and I called in to talk about this topic and I'm gagging right now, bitch, because you know, I done took my top track out. I, I took my top track, I look, I took my top track, I'm not here to glue it back in. My head's only parted on one side so you can see my track. But I decided to get on live and everything. I decided to get on live right now so you can see my whole track and everything on live while we talk about this. Okay? Yeah, I'm live right now while we talking about this. So, this open relationship bullshit, this open relationship shit is bullshit, okay? And I'm going to be honest with you. And, uh, uh, relationship is on my Kelly Harrison page. A relationship and being open to those two words should never go together. Relationship and open should never go together. Because if it's open and you can allow anybody to walk in your bedroom at any given time and have sex with you or your husband or your spouse or whoever, there is no reason for you to be in a relationship. A relationship is a commitment between a relationship is a commitment between two people. Okay? And it's not bound by the papers of uh, by the laws and the states and the different things of marriage. It's y'all bound and y'all committed to each other and y'all vowed not by, by by God or by the state that y'all going to be together, but you're going to be together with this person and y'all not going to have anybody come into y'all relationship at all. If you want to sleep with other people and all these different type of things that people were saying and you got these thoughts in your head, then you should not be in a relationship with anyone at all. Okay. Okay, so you are saying so you are saying so you are saying it's nothing that you should do behind my back because you can't either, right? No, no, no. If you do it if you do it something if you do it something behind my back, then you mean you should not be together because you wanna step out on a relationship okay. Okay. and you wanna step out to okay. other people. Yeah, go in order and everybody give and everybody give their opinion about how they feel because I don't think if you're in a relationship and you stepping out on your partner, you shouldn't be in a relationship because you're not ready to be in a relationship. People that are ready to be in a relationship is somebody that is ready to build the ready to build a foundation. A relationship is like building a house. You have to build the foundation before you can get to the house. So you have to start with the foundation, then you have to worry about building the bricks, then you gotta worry about all the, the the installation, and then you have to put the furniture, and then the dog, and then you and that person in the house, and come together. If you want to step outside of that house, then I think you need to step outside of that house and leave that person alone and leave their feelings alone. Because at the end of the day, when you do get out there and you cheat, honey, everything that's done in the dark, it eventually comes to the light. It is no way. No, I can't. I can't be. I can't. I can't be in. A, I can't be. In, I cannot be in a relationship with someone that escort because if they, if they. If they escort in the call, if they escort it, they're open to have sex with anyone for any type of money, bitch. I have been through I have been through posting ads for girls and all types of things. And I know what the girls get into when it comes to 
escorting and all of that stuff. I cannot be in a relationship with someone to escort because at okay. any given, at given time, they sleep it with somebody and they sex drive is extremely crazy. But then when it comes down to me, the sex is not the sex is not going to be the same as it is when they sleep it with these clients and doing the same because you're going to be drained out that you don't work all day long and then now it's my turn and I want some bitch and then you're going to get the very baby. I'm tired, baby. You know, I made all that point. But don't worry about it. I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you some sneakers and some jewelry and I'm going to buy you some bundles in the morning and shit. No! I don't want no bundles and no jewelry and shit. Bitch. I want... Let me ask another question. Let me ask another question. So, okay, I hear what you're saying. Okay. So, and you also are saying that this goes on both behalf. So, the same thing you expect is the same thing that you are going to give. Your your secret thoughts and everything that happens to you as a woman and a transgender woman. Are you saying that? Yes. Yes. So, but I want everybody. I want everybody. I want everybody. Everybody. Let everybody answer their uh, pay, uh, their uh, opinion on this open relationship. Y'all all on live right now, and we're doing this on live, honey. We got 77 viewers, and we got and we got like four callers that's on the phone line. So everybody give their opinion on this uh, on this topic. Okay, let's start from young to the oldest. I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> that would be Misty. Misty, you go first. Alright, well, um, yeah, I feel how I feel about it. I feel like you should both be open and honest with one another and have that option made to rid itself without any speed bond stronger. It made our bond that much stronger and we, we it worked just fine for us everyone is different everyone is different different things work for different people i'm very open i feel like i'm giving jada pickett and little smithy okay okay so i go back uh, no um so, uh, no 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 i don't think that that people think that it's okay to have open relationships. I'm an only child. I like things to myself. I feel like when you decide to call yourself in a relationship, you're committing to each other. Now, I'm not going to be naive and say that I think that my boyfriend is not going to have eyes for other people or not even want to step off and, you know, step out. But I'm traditional. If you're going to step out on me, do it so I don't know it. And that's what I was doing my end as well. I'm not with that. I cannot see myself. Like, the thought, when I like somebody or I love somebody, I love them. The thought of them sleeping with someone else makes me sick to my stomach. So I cannot see my my, my husband or boyfriend coming in the house saying, oh, Monique, I met this, this girl, and she like, I think we should bring her in because I'm, cause I'm just start picturing in my mind, like, what the fuck are you going to be doing to her? Like, are you really going to be finessing her? And, like, are you really going to give her what you give me? Are you going to show her the size of you that you're only supposed to be showing me? No, I'm not with that at all. I do understand what Nicole is saying, what she's saying, that you need to communicate. But it's like when, once you let them, if, if you give them the okay to do that, I don't feel like, I feel like they're respected for the drop that you time because they don't have to, sometimes it's best to keep that security like it's there. Like, we can't do this to each other. We can't do that to each other. Now, we can do that we want. Oh. So everybody that's everybody that's coming on this live right now, we are we're live on the air right now on Ladies Night slash Girls United at six four six 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 eight eighty seven eighty three. And the icon Nicole Khan, the icon Angie Revlon, and the legendary East Coast mother um, Monique Khan is live on the air, and they're talking about open relationships. So if you want to join, if you want to join this topic with the ladies, and you want to call in and discuss and give your opinion, even though you're giving your opinion on this live, you can definitely pick up the phone right now and call in at 646-668-8783. The ladies are live on the air and they're having a discussion about open relationships and relationships. That's what we're talking about. And so I decided to get up on live, honey, and bring the uh, radio show straight to live, honey. So when you're truly in love and you don't know all those things, when you believe that what Kelly believes and we live in the world that we live in today, that's for Nicole, that's kind of not realistic. Because, see, once I start believing that it's 
okay for him to sleep out, then I'm okay to sleep out, and we both are hiding it from each other, but then we find it out about each other. How could we be hurt if we had understanding, and this is something that we understand to do? So how could we be hurt by that? That means that we went understood when it happened, and secretly, and we gagged in public. That means that we knew that it was happening. We told the number for the show is 646 Okay, go ahead, Angel. After Angel, after Angel. <laughs> so now, since we on live, since we on live, I'm on live, and people are people yeah. are, people are calling in, and we got a lot of callers because I mean, you got a lot of people that's on live that is listening to y'all topic that y'all having, ladies. And now everybody wants to call in and they <laughs> wants to give their opinion. So go ahead, Angel, give your opinion, and we got five callers that's waiting to get off on the phone line. Um, no, because I mean, my my whole thing is, you know, I don't be, I don't get into relationships for certain reasons. In my experience, I deal with certain types of guys. I deal with guys who I consider are relationship worthy. Guys who I feel are relationship worthy actually don't. Jason, hit me up in my inbox. In their masculinity by their dick, so they tend to be better boyfriends. But that also means that when we get down to the bedroom type of stuff, they are probably lacking in that area because everybody can't be everything. So therefore, there are times when I would step outside of the relationship and get some good 
But that's good. I don't give a fuck about that good dick. That's good dick. I'm happy. That's what I have. I'm going to make dishes. I'm going to make food and all that. Now, if he felt as though he wanted to get him some good wet wet, and that's fine, too. I just feel as though I wish that he would always do it with a professional, something that's not emotionally attached, because it's a difference of how you get pussy as opposed to how you get dick. A lot of times with pussy, you got to kind of like talk into it, you got to wind it down, you got to clear up the devil over to that to get up and do that. And that's where my issue comes in with that. Oh, so uh, you can be, so you can be in a... Uh, hold on, Nicole, 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 you cannot comment back on to what... Nicole, listen, listen, Nicole, you cannot comment back. You got a lot of callers and people are dropping off. They're saying, oh, my gosh, because they're trying okay, to get through. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's bring them in because I know they want no, to bring them in. Come on. Okay, 410-419, you're live on the air. Okay, so this is Desmond. I'm back because I want to ask you this. Hey, Desmond. So, oh, the, uh, like, her having an open relationship, like, or in her relationship and stuff like that. So do you feel like he can do it without you being there at any time he wants to? Yes. And I, I can do the same as well because I feel like at the end of the day, he's going to do it anyway. He's going to do it regardless. So I don't know so, what's going on. And, so, you know. Do you think by you opening that, like, I mean, by you opening that, you know, that door for him, wherever the door is box, like, do you think that he would have did it even if you didn't do it? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. And it's not necessarily opening the door for him. I feel like it's opening the door for both of us. But, and, and because I want, I want my treat too. Okay. Okay, thank okay. you. Thank you, Desmond. The next caller the next caller we have is the icon Deja Mizrahi. You're live on the air. Hi everybody. Hi Deja. Nicole, Monique, Angel. Okay. okay. So I think my whole personal belief and oh. how I feel about open relationships, I think the whole the whole phrase is misconstrued. I think an open relationship is to be open in your relationship, not with the feather of people, but with the one person you're with. It's like when you're dating somebody and you're talking to somebody, you can't be talking to somebody and talking to somebody else because you need an opportunity for somebody else to get what's supposed to be for you. When a person separates themselves and divides himself into plenty of people, you'll never have a person hold to yourself. And if you're in a relationship with somebody that you love and you want to see what it's supposed to be between two people like in marriage, then it's no room for anybody else. So you have to be open with them, your experience, to talk about certain things, to kind of experiment with certain things, which some guys, Angel, I love what you said about dealing with, you know, a, a certain type of gentleman, you know, who are relationship worthy. And we fail to realize a lot of times that we think that, and, okay, me, I'll put people on the eye in the past. I have believed that, you know, being someone who is fresh and have not been out here and think that I'm going to mold and shape and, and do uh, the uh, that they want to be, leave them with this open mind and of only put them in a box of what I want them to be and not what they want to be with themselves. So when we think about open relationship, I think that we should... Take a, a, a world, a, a bigger look at the work, the um, phrase open relationship without joining other people in or going outside of who you are as a couple, which is supposed to be an item, it's supposed to be a communion between two people that makes you join the one. But when you add everything else and leave that door open, like I feel some kind of way this kid, this is my boyfriend and he's spending time on the phone with somebody else. That time is supposed to be my time. You can't be spending the oohs and eyes over there because that belongs to me and my relationship, not this other relationship we have going on out there. So that's a whole other thing. That's considered cheating. Because that's what you need for you and your wife or you and your husband. So I get kind of weary when it comes to open relationships. Okay, now this is what they call polygraph. You know, what is it called? Polyo, polygraph? I, I get the word, so I call it polyo thing. 
So like you have to okay, Deja. Yeah, Deja. Yeah. Okay, so you said that in talking about an open relationship, and I don't agree with that. That's one of the things I couldn't stand for. I think the relationship should be open between each other. But can the relationship right. be so be, be Can the relationship be so open that even in your personal sexual desires, that because y'all both are so open with each other, y'all can share them with each other? Can you find yourself inviting mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. solely that person? <laughs> No, you can't, you can't, because it belongs to so a piece of you is taken from you with the person you with and is given to somebody else. What that other person is getting is what you're not getting from who you No, I said, with, I said, no, I said, hey, and both of y'all being there, and both parties. No, no, you think, I'm, honestly, I don't think, I think some people can get so narrow-minded with this, and they say, oh, I'm just open, so because I'm there and I know what's going on, I'm okay with it, but deep down inside, ain't nobody okay with anybody else feeling up for a up one. Because even if he kisses somebody else or she kisses somebody else, you're going to feel... I don't know. Okay. You know what? I don't know if everyone is being so... If you're into the person, there's nothing that they can do with somebody else that they're only supposed to do with you, and because you did, you say, I'm all right with this. Uh, uh, you know something? I, okay, so I hear what everybody's saying. Well, somebody, hold on, hold on, lady. Somebody on live just said, somebody on live just said, I'd rather them tell me that they want an open relationship than begin cheating on it. Right, right, because I think that a lot of people is not being real. I think when we're talking about this conversation, it takes the real part because at the same time, let's take the relationship part out. And what are you thinking your own private thoughts, motherfuckers? Don't sit back and act like that. So to everybody that's everybody to everybody that's to everybody that's on the uh, on this chat right now, this conversation is about open relationships, cheating, and relationships is what the girls are talking about on the radio show right now, honey. Uh, my glasses give a glare off, so I can't really read the messages on the live. But if you please call in if you have a question, the ladies are live right now on the phone line at six four six. 668-8783. Once again, that number was 646-668-8783. And you can ask any questions. You can chime in and be a part of the topic with the ladies right now, live on the radio show. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, y
And sometimes so, you allow a person to do what they do, they will keep going. As far as me, when I'm down to a relationship, I feel like it's respect, loyalty, honesty, and just that commitment for one another. I feel like if you can't do that, you don't need to be together. Mm -hmm. That's just me. Without saying, but I think nothing wrong. It's nothing wrong with having a little fun in your relationship because we all had a little fun. Okay, we, we, we do. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. But beyond all that, I just think that with myself personally, and I know a lot of people can contest, it's the emotional aspect of it. Yeah. Because if I'm, if you're my man and I'm not your woman, I feel like I'm yours and um, you're mine. Ooh. And um. And I think I have to be a mutual respect with it. And on uh, me, uh-uh, I couldn't do it because I, I'm, I'm wondering, is he touching her? Sh is, you know, you touching somebody else different, uh, you touching somebody else. Touching somebody else different, uh, you touching somebody else different, or, and I'm in the back of my mind thinking, like, if I don't hear from you, you out there with the next girl, or like, what you doing? And I just think when you open up their box and you give them a platform, they will just respond to it. Missy said that he would tell you, though. Missy said that he would tell you. That's my whole thing. No, with Missy, with Missy, baby, I definitely respect her, absolutely, for her to even say that and just have this connection and this, this connection to do it. And then this, this understanding and that self-esteem and assurance about herself. Right, and, and it's a wonderful thing because it's and if you can handle that, go ahead, and I wish you all the best of luck. Yeah, that's awesome. Me, my son, and I, 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 I think that's why you... Uh, uh, me, myself, I know I just couldn't do it because I'm an emotional Pisces and, you know, I'm going to sit up here wondering, looking at the door wondering. And, you, know, you know what? It, it's all about where you have to be, where you are as a person and who you are. That is true, Nicole. That is true. That is what it's all about. That's true, but that's you have true. to worry about yourself first. To me, it's the emotional aspect of it. If you can handle yeah, that, live. you can handle that. It's not because, like, you um, know what? When I also learn how to set them out of power, they won't see. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because so, we're also but, learning the emotional, mild, uh, emotional part of it always makes the part that takes so, power. So, ladies, so so I'm, so lady. I'm oh, opening up. I'm, I feel like if you open but up Pandora's box, free. They're going to keep on with Pandora's box. So, I'm ladies, 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 uh, y'all want to, uh, I, I got on live, I got on live for y'all because, you know, I heard y'all say that y'all want to be able to get on live and do the show and be on live at the same time. So, since it's three of y'all and y'all on here and y'all on live, y'all got to remember, when y'all get on live and y'all do the show, y'all got people that's not going to call in and do uh, and call into the show y'all got people on live so one of y'all need to be working the live and uh getting these questions that's coming to y'all that's on this live honey i'm here i'm switchboard honey okay <laughs> They should call in. I'm That's what they should do. I'm up on there, baby. They talk about but, that. Yeah, but like, they, they, know, they should call in. in. They should they should call in. What happens when the show is going to go on record mode? That's how um, we get to um, hear their conversation. Can I ask? Uh, is anybody looking about Pandora's box? We went from Abra to Dabra to Pool. I'm serious. Once you, once you open up that box, you give them a little, you know. Yeah, uh, 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 when you open up that box, they want some more of that cookie. Yeah, you know, I'm not opening it up. I mean, without, without any rules, it's an anarchy. You right. need to have some type of rules because they want to do all the rules away. Like this new thing, so nothing makes no sense. Everything is everything. Everybody else is mm -hmm. Everything is everything. Boys, girl, girl, the boy, yes, no. Mm -hmm. Good is bad. Winners is losers. Losers is winners. Bitch, stop. Yeah. And, 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 at the end of it, though, mm -hmm. both parties have to be on the same accord. Absolutely. Both parties have to be on the same accord. Yeah. 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 To me, you have to be a strong-minded person for yeah. that. Yeah. Like yeah. me, yeah. I know my nerves are bad, you know, and I have to get yeah. my, you know, and I'm, I, my nerves are bad. I know I can't do yeah. it. Yeah. I get nervous. You're going to be a person that I'm going to push me. You're going to push me. You're going to push me. You're going to see Tanisha come out, so I don't want that to come out. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody saying with my man. This is my man. I better be doing something right. If I can't please my man, Nobody else can't put. You know, I got. Sorry, I went all off topic. I got a little yes. 
you know, they ain't too real quick, but we, but we understand, we understand, and you describe how you are, so that wouldn't be appropriate for you. And can I ask like another you. question, Nicole, not to take up the radio, because you had a, t- uh, a question before, was it about sexuality that had came into it a little late when Ken was on air and stuff like that? What was that topic given about? About I don't remember which topic, but oh, I don't want to go back to that topic. So right now, right now, to everybody that's coming on the live, I'm on live on the radio show, and this is Girls United on the radio show, and they have a different topic that they're talking about. And I just decided, they said they wanted to uh, do the radio show and be on live at the same time. So I said, you know what, I'm going to give them a test run at this and see how this works. Yes, they can definitely... Thank they you can guys. definitely, they can definitely Thank call in through the computer. Thank you, Kiana, for calling in. Y'all next caller that y'all, y'all next caller that y'all have is two zero one five one five. You're live on the air. Two zero two zero one five 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 one five. You're live on the air. Y'all have made my night, and I, I, I laughed and giggled and everything else, but this is what I'm doing. How you doing? I'm doing okay. I just feel like it's But um, just a couple of things. I think that people should be able to have their own opinion. Just a couple of things. I think that people need to understand, just understand what you want. There is traditional uh-huh. relationships, yeah. and there's non-traditional relationships. Yeah. So I feel like we are never going to come to an agreement disagree to disagree because there are two different elements to that. But I also believe that our choice of lifestyle purposely go against the norm and just accept mm. anything. Mm-hmm. Now, I was with someone years ago, I was saying amen, um, they were a porn star. And so we had an understanding that work was working and sometimes at the time I was a working girl, we would do certain things just because it was certain things that he wasn't going to allow me to do to him. So oh, I'd say, right. okay, you bring him home, and it is what it is. And you right. Him with a cunt. The same thing, but we had an understanding. If right. you have it right. without me, you're disrespecting the consent to the right. rules that we are saying. Just like in Fifty Shades of Grey, there are people that are in BDSM communities, but there's a contract. So as long as we say right. we're going to do an open relationship, you are not going to be at the ball busting it over on everybody. You know, we right. have consent. And I think that's where it's misconstrued okay, that these sure. youth and these young generations have no thing about consent anyway. Hello, they're right. 16 and 17 and they, this is my husband and they married this week and next week. Just, just, and it's because of the trauma and the things of love and acceptance that right. LGBT people want. So sometimes we just accept anything. So right. even so a happy relationship, you need to have mm-hmm. an understanding of what you want out of your relationship yeah, that's that's true. for you. As well as when I saw growing up, oh, and mm-hmm. you know what? I grew up with my yeah, grandfather and grandfather were together for years. Yo, God, my look at this. Were together for years. I can't That's believe this. Real. Sorry, Lala. Hold on. You are here saying the same exact thing that I said, and I may said it a little bit better. And, like and it sounds like and it sounds like church. Oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amen. That's, That's right. right. That's That's right. right. That's it's right. 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 really. Oh, really? Oh, really? 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 She swung that though. It sounds good. I'm like, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah it's it's right. Right. It was pretty much the same thing that I said. It was I'm saying the same thing. It is all yeah, about where you are as a person. You know what? You know what, Angel? I got you tonight, darling. Okay. <laughs> she like, like yeah, but really, she like, yeah. It's all about what you agree with, though. And they haven't I mean, had but that I'm still on team. Because I said I, I think men who got small dicks, I'm going to cheat on them down, bitch. But they need to help out. Hey, Shabine. I'm up the double O. I'm up the double O now. Yes. Oh, yes. Hey, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold on. Hold on. I work in. Uh, hold on. Uh, what you call it? Uh, hold on, y'all. I waited for my intern. I waited because my computer just fell asleep. Hold on. Y'all have another caller. Uh, y'all have y'all. Bitch, y'all got a whole bunch of callers. Two one two. Yes, callers. Two one two eight five eight. You're live on the air. Um, well, first of all, now I'm the youngest bitch on the phone. Well, hello, youngster. Yeah, and um, when I see most of you, they're going to die. <laughs> okay, first of all, before my... I know that I'm Asia. Oh, wait a minute. I- 
I don't like how she came in my, I don't like how the news came in so far now. First of all, I'm the youngest bitch on the line. I'm the youngest bitch. Bitch, I'm the oldest. I live for her. <laughs> she live for threatening us. She live for threatening I'm me and me. That's okay. Hey, hey. I'm, I'm a chin check. I'm a chin check her ears when I see her. Oh, yeah. You got your chin check on the weekend ass, though. Oh! Hey Roxanne! I hope you came to bring in this conversation. The number to the red, the number, the number to the radio, the number to the show right now, and so you can call in and chime in on this topic is 646 668 8783. I can't. I'm working. That that defeats the whole purpose of being in a relationship. I'm not gonna have somebody on the side if I'm in a relationship. It just fucks everybody I want to fuck. Okay, let me ask Nicole. Nicole, 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 Nicole,
I've dated women in my past before I started dealing with men. And when I dated a woman, that was my queen. Like, I, I, I cherish that woman. There's no way I would have agreed to my woman to um, share her body with another person. So it's kind of hard for me to accept hearing a woman saying that it's open to oh, allow someone to have some to have a open relationship. Oh, my God. Okay, so wait so, a minute. Can you okay, explain so, that to me? Okay, so wait a minute, wait a minute, so wait a minute, <laughs> so wait a minute, so I'm going to ask you one question too, with, with the your expectation, with, no, no, not really, with the expectation that you have for your queen, first of all, I want to say I commend you, that makes you a different type of guy, and they are several different type of guys, just like they're different type of <laughs> girls, so I commend you when you say that your queen, and um, um, what you respect and expect, and, and you need to understand that women, men, and everybody, they think different, move different, and some people can be on that level in their relationship. However, you're not the type of person that can do that. But I don't think that it has anything to do with what a woman does, because I know women okay. who walk around with many men, and I know every type thing, but people judge the thing, so it Hello. may not be because a transsexual, a transsexual is talking like a woman. I don't think that that's what it's about. Nicole, uh, to, your, to the, uh, to the right, lady, you. Oh, hold on, hold on caller to the ladies that's on the phone everybody on live is saying can y'all please stop calling the callers off let them finish their statement so go ahead caller okay, okay. can i ask another question that's totally unrelated i hope y'all don't mind but um i'm just curious about the whole sex change thing um like I know with women, they have like a, you know, vagina and they have like a menstrual cycle and stuff like that. So it can actually clean. But how do women with sex changes deal with that? Do they douche? Like, how does that work? Oh, wait, do you mean a guy turn into a girl? Oh, yeah. I think that they, I think they have the luxury of doing that and not have to go through the same issues that women go through. And so I think it's kind of like a luxury, you know, because they may can get a smell and even be able to come. However, they don't have to bleed for seven days. So I guess there's really nothing to clean but what they decide to put up in there. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Y'all have a good night. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hold on, honey, hold on. Um, I'm gonna let y'all know I gotta wait for my computer. Y'all know my computer, honey. She be fucking up over here and shit, child. So, you know, she just shut down hey, on me. Hey, so dude, Monique, the show is hot. Yes, it is. Yeah, my, uh, my phone just, I mean, my phone, my computer just shut down on me. So I'm waiting for she to reboot back up. But y'all got a, y'all got a bunch more callers that's pressing one and chiming in. So, you know, I want to congratulate before we, before this wait, we wait for this computer. I don't know which one of y'all said this live idea. So, you know, the live idea was definitely a good idea. So I want to congratulate y'all ladies for definitely coming up, today. coming up with this great today. idea. Coming up with this great idea of, you know, doing the live in the show. So, um, you know, so every Sunday night I'll get on live and I'll have y'all and I'll have the show on live, honey. But baby, I'm going to have it on live. But one of y'all, one of y'all going to have to work these comments that's coming on these live and everything, girl. Because I'm not going to be no, doing it. That's not the way it goes. That's the purpose of being on live because I did it today, bitch, and you know it, and it's very effective. Because I said that before we should do that, and you said no, how are you going to get them? If they on the live, then they won't have no reason to call in. But yes, they do because they can't be heard, and that live moves so fucking fast or so slow, they questions never get to get heard, so they get them to get on live. I told you that, bitch. Oh, yeah. I'm waiting for you. Why y'all gagging? Somebody say, say, yo. Uh, Angel said, yo, he tried her cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, no, or the how she was trying it, period. Y'all didn't hear yeah. it, darling. Oh, that's why I had to send it or very nicely and respected it. No, bitch, what do you mean? Oh, it right. cleans itself and exaggerates it. Well, see, that's why they don't have to go through that problem. Yeah, honey, okay. Well, shit, honey, I don't go through no problems at all, honey, okay? Baby, I ain't gotta, okay. I ain't gotta okay. clean. I ain't got to clean nothing or do nothing or do nothing. I'm here. I'm working. I do, when the door's locked, I do not talk. I do not talk when the door's closed. I'm working. <laughs> what you say, Nicole? 
I said, what's wrong? You over there in your femininity? Because you're too quiet, honey. Baby, you know, on that, on that. when it comes to relationships, Monique has been single for over 10 years. Baby. Okay, okay, ladies. Don't play with relationships. Okay, ladies, okay, uh, ladies, 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 ladies. Ladies, hold on, ladies, because uh, my computer is back up and y'all got nine callers, honey. Hold on. 410-462, you're live on the air. Hello, ladies. How are you doing? This is Enrique. Hey, Enrique. Hey, what's up? I was just listening to your topic about open relationship. I really think it depends on the relationship and on the people in the relationship. Um, I'm sure we're not saying that it's going to be widely accepted, widely accepted from everyone. This is not. But, you know, I've known couples that have had very long relationships and, like, towards the middle of it, they opened up relationships and it has not affected the relationships at all. If anything, it strengthened it because they were able to gain more trust for each other. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, and, and I think that confuses people like, like, I, if I could discuss, for instance, some people get mad, like a couple get mad if somebody's walking down the street, oh, he has a fat ass. Some people would get upset about that, but well, why are you looking at somebody else and then I'm right here? But I, I can visually find somebody else pleasing, but still be with you. I'm not going to numb any of my senses because I'm in a relationship. And I think that's what a lot of people gather in a relationship. Once they're in a relationship, everything is cut off. And that's when things start to fail. Because you feel as though that you can't openly express yourself. You feel as though that you have to hide certain things or certain ways of your feelings. So what do you do? You vent other ways, i.e. cheating, be it physically, mentally, or like like on online, you know, because a lot of people cheat online. Like a lot of people weren't like watch porn. Like why are you watching right. porn? I'm right here with you. But this is some, a different avenue. So with my friends that I have open relationships, you know, they, they develop some type of like, I don't want to say it's a real bond, but they open some, they create some type of different bond. You know what I'm saying? Because they choose who they bring in to a relationship. Like some like some of the people do it out of state. Like they'll take trips to New York or Atlanta and then, you know, you know, there's where the rules lie. Like we can help an open relationship but it can't be in the same state that I'm in because some some people that's too close. So we go to Atlanta, we go to LA, then we can pick a person together and do it and then we can discuss what we liked about it, what we did not like about it, and then what we plan on doing from there on. And then our same and there are some people who don't care that it's in the same state for them because their relationship is that strong or they trust each other that strong that it does not matter. Because, you know, at the end of the day, you're sleeping with me. At the end of the day, we're growing old together. You know what I'm saying? And that way, I don't have to hear from a friend, um, a parent, or something else that you're out creeping because then I say, oh, yeah, that's Jeff. I know exactly who that is. You know what I'm saying? So it's... it's that kind of throws that out the window. And when people do that, and I kind of think it builds more trust than trust issues, if you guys understand what I'm saying, ladies. You know what I'm saying? Because you're yeah. trusting your partner more. And so you're, you're kind of doing these things together opposed to doing it separately. So I, I, I can get it. And I understand, like Monique said, that she's been single for a long time. She's the only child and blah, blah, blah. And I, I, I get the reasoning and I get the understanding of that. But I honestly think that if people are more accepting to it, that it might be actually like, uh, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Promising or a new development, or they might see like relationships last a little longer because let's be honest, you know, like people say like homosexuals are promiscuous by nature, or let's just say that men are promiscuous by nature, period. You know what I'm saying? I know there's transgenders right. or whatever the case may be, but it doesn't kill the sexual desire at all. You know, so if there's a way of, like, um, containing it or doing it together, then it's not going to be a big issue because you're doing it together, opposed to, you know, cheating outside the relationship and then you're breaking up. So I kind of agree. Yeah, so I kind of agree with the, um, because, you know, when I was younger in college, I had an open relationship. It was great. I had a nine-year relationship, and that's the longest relationship I've ever had. Nine years. Right. You know what I'm saying? Do you think that relate? Do you think that when those relationships last so long because you don't really have to build a lot of trust because it's pretty much anything goes? <laughs> well, no, no, no. You do have to build trust. 
you're good with your internet. internet. Don't trust because you you sleeping with y'all sleeping with whoever. It's not. You no, know, you do have to build trust because you're 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 doing this together. First of all, you're doing it together. You're not sleeping with any whoever. You pick the person together. You're dealing with together, so it kind of builds trust, not less trust. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I have couples. Like, I have friends. Like, well, I call them my mentors because you know, I'm too old to have like gay dads. And but my mentors, like one of my mentors, they've been together for thirty years. Thirty years, and you know, in like black folk gay terms, that's like. Never happened, hardly, ever. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, but it's been 30 years and it works for them. And they're like, do everything together. Home stuff. I just recently got married, of course, because, you know, that just recently came into play. But it worked for them. So I can't say, oh, that's horrible, that's disgusting. I would never. Because, bitch, you're 30 years to my nine. You do the math. And the trust comes in when you respect me enough and I respect you enough. To tell you what I'm feeling inside. Exactly. Opposed to exactly. just being sneaky and going smutting off with whom and who, you know whoever and doing what you want, and then come crawl back in the bed with your secrets and your lies and go on right. as if nothing happened. And then right. I find out later down the line that I'm crushed. Exactly. Like so, when you have a relationship, you can discuss like. I did enjoy that, or I didn't like that, or, you know, maybe you shouldn't be kissed, because that's their thing. Like, you can do whatever you want, because shit, I'm not saying that's what they do, but there's no kissing allowed, or, like, tongue kissing right. allowed, or whatever. Everybody has their rules. Everybody has their boundaries, and it works for them. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. So I just want to say, good show, ladies. Um, Thank you. You know, I just feel that, you know, to each his own. But don't knock it until you try it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, right, Enrique. Ladies. Thank you, Enrique, for calling in. Thank you. The next caller, the next caller y'all have is Lala. You're back on the air. Welcome back, Lala. Lala. Hi. Um, I, yeah, I wanted to add a little, like, interject also. Like, I do, yes, I do think that people, you know, can be in a relationship for, like, a long time, but I think before we even get to a conversation about open relationships or relationships, period, we have to start teaching the younger ones or, you know, period, like the founding. What, what is a relationship to you, period, right? Because I feel like so many people, so many people that are listening to this conversation, these kids that are younger than us, that are not from our generation. I'm pretty sure we've all went through a lot of things, accepted a lot of things, and now realize things that we won't accept. We were at a point in our life where, yes, it was fun. You know, I wanted a boyfriend, but I still stuck on and cheated, and he did the same. And, you know, but I feel like they look for us for answers, and sometimes when we don't have a clear, direct answer or clear, direct conversations around it is why they're running all over the place. Because they look for us for answers sometimes, and we don't have them. Because I look at some like my kids... I tell my son all the time, every time he calls me, I said, when you can keep one for when you can keep one for a month, then tell me that's your boyfriend. That's my problem with you. Every other three days you got every other three weeks you got a new man. Like you don't you know, like I need you to keep one for a month. <laughs> you know, I feel mm-hmm. like people just take relationships um so lightly and like Monique was saying, like she has been in a relationship for a long time because of stuff, you know, she up her upbringing, but that plays a part. So for me, my grandmother and my grandfather were together forever. My mother and my father were together forever until he passed. So these are images of relationships that I saw growing up. So for me, my sister, she's married to her husband forever. And yes, they go through things and probably things I don't ever know or care to know, but my, visually, these are images that I saw. You come from homes where you didn't have that vision, but you had toxic relationship models. When you grow older, you're repeating that thing. And it takes forever sometimes to, to um, separate generational things. So I think a lot of this stuff is just generational things that we've seen from our childhood playing out in our relationship. But we don't talk about that because we don't acknowledge that. Mm-hmm. That's all, but a lovely show. Okay, thank you. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Oh, my fucking... Yes. Jesus. <sighs> I need a new... I need a new computer really bad. Like, this shit is really working me right now, honey, okay? The callers that's on the phone lines, I'm about to come to your call. 
baby, everybody, and I'm about to come to y'all calls, the callers that's online, to everybody that's online that asks me why my face look like this. My face look like this because this iMac is really doing shows right now. And every few minutes, it just keeps shutting off by itself. And I need a new computer, so, and I'm trying to do all of this stuff and run the show and everything. And this computer keeps cutting off, and it's just crazy right now. So that's why my face looks like this to everybody that's on the live. And I, it's just aggravating me right now. Like, it's really getting on my nerves. Child, so hold you know on. You ladies? I might, can, I might can stomach myself to, like, if I was ahead of boyfriend, and... He say, oh, well, let's go to Vegas and let's, you know, do something we never did and let's bring somebody in. I may just stomach myself to do something like that. But it being a constant thing or something that would just in, that's incorporated into our relationship, nah. Mm -mm. Okay, 212-858, you're live on the air. Um, this is my agent again. Um, girl, go hey, get out of here. Listen, 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 bro. I have a little bit. It's a big bush queen. I'm not a queen woman. I'm my Asia. Um, yeah. But, but my 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 question is. So this is a problem for men to cheat on a woman. Why does it seem like if our girlfriends are in a relationship and our girlfriends cheat, why do we applaud that? Right. Uh, does that make I think we applaud. I think we applaud it because of that, a lot of times we be like, "Bitch, yes, get your life," because he's definitely cheating on you. <laughs> but that, do you do you think that still makes it right? Yeah. I don't know, but just leave them. And you know, men cheat for sex, yeah. and women cheat because they just like we, like we cheat still trying to like, trying to get that spot filled. No, bitch, I cheat because I like sex. I was about to say, um, maybe that's a more thing. Bitch, if I cheat, it's because, bitch, I see a nice piece of meat that I want to, bitch, I, I, bitch, I cheat for sex. Y'all some nasty hoes. Well, that's if I no, cheat. I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying me, but I know that my girlfriend do it all, like, my girlfriend do it all the time. Like, I've watched my girlfriend get into my state boyfriend, and, you know, we all would read, like, bitch, did he cheat it? You don't believe him? And then with Tissy, it's like, bitch, she's 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 like, and I, yeah, I, I think that's, I, I agree with that, I see a lot of that, but I think that's just the way of the world. I think that's just how it always been. Like, it, it seems kind of okay for a girl to cheat, but not for a guy. Like, it's, I, I don't know. It's double standard. Double standard. It's, 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 double standard. A, it's not okay for a girl, it's okay for our girl. Like, like, I mean, we don't rhyme with our girls regardless, so, bitch. You know, you know how that does, honey. If I but if I know you and if I know you in a relationship with a guy and he's a good man to you and you going around doing what you want, me as a friend, I'm gonna have to say something to you. Right, that's like, why I say that. Like, what are you doing? Like, in most cases, you be looking like, bitch, you need to be better. She don't have to be definitely cheating on you. So I think that's kind of sort of the same thing. Thank you, my Aisha. If you got something else to say, my Aisha, just press one and I'll bring you right back on. We got like eight more callers and we need to get these callers, okay? Okay, the next caller that y'all have, ladies, is 267-978. You're live on the air. 267-978. You're live on the air. Is that me? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Is that you? Ate, oh, wait, oh, I, was on, I wasn't talking the whole time. No. Oh, my God. Hey. I oh, oh, my God. I'm gagging, honey. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Angel. The next caller y'all have is 347 right. the, the next The next caller y'all have is 347 You're live on the air. That's Cam Watson. Cam, you're live on the air. Bitch, I was talking down. Cam? Cam Watson. Okay, well, I guess oh, Kim, Kim, what? Kim is still on. Kim is on the live talking. Okay, 215-941, you're live on the air. Hi, ladies. Hello. Hi, Kel. Hi. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm open uh, to relationships. My, I'm da my, my name is Danny. Uh, I go by Daniel and, and face Hi, Daniel. Uh, on Facebook. Yeah. Oh, I, Daniel. I'm, 
Yeah, so I've been on, I'm I'm near going to 40 years old. I've been in relationships since I've been 18, you know? And I've been cheated on because they didn't want to hurt my feelings and stuff like that. There's open, I see that there's open relationships and there's also side pieces, you know? I don't go for the side pieces, you know? I don't see that, right. you know? It, it, right. I'm not gonna be like tag team and, uh, uh, you know, like doing the tag team thing, you know? Right. Like, I have them one day, you have them the other. The thing is, okay, if if we're gonna be honest, we're gonna do whatever, uh, we need to actually talk about it and be honest uh, about it and have trust about it, you know? Uh, we need to trust each other and actually uh, know what, you know, actually uh, uh, talk and, and and do the thing for only that night, you know, because if you keep on bringing that person into the bed or whatever, uh, that's going to become a relationship of itself. You understand? Mm, yeah. So it's a tricky thing. It's a tr it's a tricky thing, but also it uh, there, that's why you need to put guidelines when it, uh, before you, you go into that path, right. you know. And I've been I've been single for almost a year and a half, you know. And hey, I you know, ever since then I've been in relationships Rock, like Rock, one day after another. I don't know for you girls, you know how how you girls feel about you know open relationships like that, you know. Hey, Roxanne, right. what's going or, on, Roxanne? Or, I ain't talking to you. At the end of the day, they, men, they have the mentality of men, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, when they see something nice, they're going to yeah. go for it. I'll yeah. rather I'll rather go for it with my boyfriend and, or let my boyfriend tell me he likes it and mm -hmm. I'll see if it's good and do it, you know? Mm -hmm. Instead of being yeah. hurt in that, you understand? Yep. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. that's what, for me, that's that's how I feel. Because I've been cheated at least three times mm -hmm. in, in my life, you know? And I'm in a relationship. Hurts. Yeah, and, and I, it, it hurts deeply. And, yeah. and I'm a relationship type person, you know? And, and it's like when you actually get hurt, you get hurt deeply. And that's all I have to say. You know, well, I think I, you, keep searching, you should keep searching for someone that has the same views that you have and nothing else. You may come across someone one day that wants the same exact thing that you want. Because I have, yeah. uh, now, I have faith that I'm going to run across somebody that sees things the way I see it, and until then, I'll just be by myself. I understand, yeah. I, I, just, like, I, I hear what you're saying. Who's this, Monique? Yeah, that's Monique. That's, that's, uh, okay, Monique, uh, I hear what you're saying. Uh, I've been, like, that's why I've been single for a year and a half, you know? Before that, I was in relationships only, you know? I was in, my first one was nine, my second one was five. Uh, no, uh, my first one was was three, my second one was five, nine, and the and third one was five, you know? And... Then I'm like, you know, I need to take a break. You know, I didn't even get to enjoy my gay life, like usually kids. Because back in the day, we didn't have like the LGBT in school or nothing like that, you know? Mm -hmm. The only, it was like, okay, you were put in school and if you were gay, you couldn't go, you couldn't be out and stuff like that because you would have been like teased or whatever like that, you know? And it was a different, it was a different thing, you know? So, but, you know, when, when you grow up and you come out from the closet for, uh, to, your, to your family, you know, then you, you do your own thing, you, you, you do your own thing, you know? And that's when you actually, you actually know what you want. Because my mom and my dad been married for 40 years, and I've been taught. You know, never leave your your partner, no matter what. You know, right. and it's like uh, that's what you see. So that that's basically what you're taught, and that's basically what I was taught, and that's why I was like, 
you know, I always been a relation type person. But when I when I saw that, you know, the cheating and stuff, and it wasn't nothing that I was doing wrong, you know. I got you, girl, sonny. The man mentality. Huh? No, not you, not you, Paula. I was, uh, I was talking, I was talking to, I was talking to the ladies. I told them, I asked them, I'm just waiting for my iMac to come back up, honey. So let's go ahead, go ahead on. Okay. <laughs> All right, girl. <laughs> nah, Wait, can but that's how I feel, you know. Yeah, it's, we can hear you. Oi, 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 Okay. Uh, so, um, yeah, I feel you. <laughs> Caller, uh, Caller, uh, I want to thank you. I want to thank you. For, I want to thank you for definitely calling in, Caller. We got a bunch more callers that we need to get to. And I also thank need to so pay much, some much. bills. So I thank you for definitely calling in, okay? All right, thank you. Thank and you. You, got, you girls have a nice night. Oh, uh, okay. You too. Thank you. Okay, girl, let me tell you something. Tell you know, this fucking, I went on to just throw this computer across the fucking room, honey, because she keeps, she keeps acting up. I hear everybody, listen, okay? Everybody that's on live, I hear y'all on live. I heard the, I heard the panel that's on the phone and the group chat that we have on Sunday nights. I heard everybody. I'm so, listen, let me show y'all something, okay? So everybody that's on live, hold on. Let me see, let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all what my computer look like right now, okay? I heard everybody. You see, the computer went black. I gotta wait for the computer to come back up. I hear everybody, you see it just, it came back up. So now I got y'all, I hear y'all on live. I hear all the girls that all the folks that are on the show. I heard everybody, but I can't do nothing if this stupid ass iMac keeps shutting off. I heard y'all. I got y'all. Calm down. Okay? I gotta keep getting <laughs> the, the password in and shit, child. And then I gotta wait for the internet to reboot up. I heard y'all. I got y'all. I'm on your side. Damn. Everybody. Well, I want everybody on live to hear me. It's 11.46, and we are having a lovely conversation. Soon and very soon, the show will go in record mode. So everybody on live, even if you're on live, jot down the number, 646-668-8783, because we don't want to leave you out of this conversation. It gets hot when it goes in record mode. Yes, everybody that's on live, yeah, I got to tell y'all, listen, all right? The show is live and it broadcasts live right now, so everybody can call in. In the next, I think, it, I don't know what time it is, in the next, like, 10, 15 minutes, the show is going to go into lock, and it goes into record mode. Record mode is when um, everybody, you know, Nicole is the politician of the show. Uh, Monique is the sweetheart baby of the show. Angel is the bitch that I don't give a fuck about what comes out of my mouth. I'm going to say it and I'm going to say it like I mean it. Misty is the girl that's in between and she can be on both sides. At 12 o'clock, this show goes into record mode. At 12 o'clock, I'm going to end the live. So if you want to be a part of the show, you must pick up the phone and you must call in because the last part of the show is in record mode. And it's just the ladies talking and I'm doing them and the callers is on. But the only way you can be a part of that, you got to pick up the phone and you got to call 646-668-8783. And it goes down, bitch. When I tell y'all, I be gagging. I be so over it when the white man come on at 1 o'clock and be like, the show is over. Okay? <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Okay, hold on. Y'all still got a bunch more. Y'all got a bunch of more callers, honey. I'm just waiting for my internet to come back up right now. As soon as my internet uh, hit up, honey, I'm gonna come to the next caller that y'all have, honey. As soon as... Okay, nine. Uh, okay. Why you waiting for that? Okay, I okay, I'm ready. Okay, the next caller is eight. It's eight five six five oh uh, seven one. You're live on the air. Hi, this is Felicia. I'm back again, and I'm not trying to take up anyone's time, but I said it's pretty much everywhere has their own world code, and it's all about how you feel morally, and then when two people get together, my idea of an open relationship is pretty much people, they, when they get together and they decide to have an open relationship, they, they both have a mutual understanding, and they pretty much are uh, one accord on how they feel 
as far as like what relationships they're going to choose to have and they're able to have different relationships with multiple people and everyone still feels like they're all at one accord because they're at a glance about how their relationship is going to be so that's always been my understanding and as far as bringing people into the bedroom i look at it like when a couple decides to bring someone in the bedroom it's all just for sexual pleasure it has nothing to do with emotional feelings it's all about pleasure like that's how they feel and that's how they feel so everyone's being judgmental about the whole situation because they feel like oh this isn't for me but for some people they are able to rationalize and come together and be at one accord and be like look okay this is what i want you know i'm okay with my open relationship like that's what it is and they have an open relationship and it could last for a while or whatever but it's real everyone sets boundaries their own different way and everybody likes what they like so well, i think we should not people have open relationship. Well, I just want to, I just, wait, oh, wait, hold on. I just want, I want to say something, and you know, and I'm on live, so right now, so I'm saying what I'm saying. You know, everybody knows I like the trans men, and some people know that I like the dick, okay? So, listen, if I'm in a, if I'm in a relationship, bitch, okay, if I'm messing with a man, I need nine and a half and better if I'm messing with a man. So if my man, oh, if, listen, I'm being real. I need nine and a half. I need nine and a half and better. I need at least three or four inches of girth. Okay. So oh, listen. Man. So let me tell you something. If I'm with a man and I'm having an open relationship and my man already got that, I'm gonna need bigger than what my man got. You know, to bring into the relationship. Cause why have something that's average or something that my man already got? I'm gonna need bigger. So if I get the bigger, and then he comes over, and then he does me first, and my man, he, my, my man does me first, then he do me after my man do me, baby, when I tell you the feeling that you're going to feel with that bigger one, you're going to get some emotional hey. attachment to that, because it was good, bitch, okay, so let's be real with it, okay, if he coming, and, be, no, and but your man got a big dick already, your man got a big, your man, like but see, listen, but see, when you see, when you go in there, when you go into this, and you have it, and you have it, and you have it. Like and you have it. Like just find a man that already has a big dick and just make that your husband instead of having to bring someone else with the big dick. Just well, because you never know. Because y'all sitting, y'all saying about open relations, so I'm gonna need somebody bigger. And so then, if my man go first and he see what my man is doing and why he doing it, because he, he gonna be doing me, my man gonna be doing me, I'm gonna be munching him. Then they're gonna switch. <laughs> then they're gonna switch, right? So he already seeing what my man gonna do, baby. So then he's gonna he's gonna go in because he got to do better than what my man did because he's watching my man because you know when it comes to men doing these you know, having sex and they doing two women it's about an ego trip oh, so he don't oh, see what he did oh, so now you he, know what you know what I, you know what i get it but you want to know something sister you know oh, okay but you know what let me say this for me if you want to get with a man that's not going to be so what's the sense so what's the uh, Nicole so Nicole so what's the sense uh, what's the sense of bringing someone in the relation and into your relationship so you just gonna so you just gonna what the fuck I'm bringing a man in to fuck me for my husband fuck me the, uh, the idea of doing that so so you bring it so you bring it so so you bring it so you bring in the man so you bring in the man in the relationship the month is trained or for your husband to yak him or for him to yak your husband but no, not him that yak my husband, or for maybe me to yak him, for maybe me to yak him. I want to see some shit. What am I doing? Oh, Jesus. This for? That is crazy. Jesus I don't take, think that a man, Jesus will, I will take the wheel. You want to get fucked with your husband Jesus. in the wrong way. See, but, see, Nicole, it's different for me. It's different for me, Nicole. See, I can use, I, and I tell y'all this all the time. We have this discussion all the time. My lily don't work for boys, Miss Thang. Oh, so you just, oh, so you just the complete bottom, and if they all yes. fucking you all the whole time. Yes, my lily, my lily don't work for, my lily don't work for boy. Uh, uh, 
seconds to pick up the phone because at when we go into record mode I will be ending this live so if you still want to be a part of this topic and hear everything that's going on and everything that we saying you need to pick up your phone right now and you need to call into the show at 646-668-8783 once the show goes into record mode please do not be walking through your house and all types of things of that nature Stay someplace where you get good service because if you do not have good service and you get dropped off, we will see you next week on Girls United, honey. So you better pick up the phone and you better call in. Y'all got four minutes and 35 seconds to call in because at 12 o'clock, when this show goes into record mode, I am ending this live, okay? Baby. And, the, and you and you can't call in. The phone locks and you can't call in and you can't listen to it from the, from the computer. You can only be on the phone line. So you got to call in because there's no other way. And yeah. you can't call in the show after 12. Felicia, Felicia, you still got more stuff you need to say? Yeah, I'm like, you guys are best with like over talking and no say. Okay, <laughs> sorry, Felicia, go ahead. Say, sorry, Felicia. No, that's okay. It's a very um, heated conversation. It's very heated, and girls have very passionate feelings. No, like it's not. Right. It's pretty much being personal, but it's like my whole thing with that is everyone has their own personal preference when it comes to bringing someone else in the bedroom. And as long as the couple is at an agreement on what's going to take place, and it's each his own. If that's what turns that couple on, I'm not nobody to knock someone who's trying. Not trying, but someone that's spicing up their relationship. And I agree with you, Nicole, when you say that you should be honest about what you like when you're with your partner. Because if you're honest, there's no need for your partner to cheat on you with someone else. Because you say you don't like the sex. I don't know if I can say that or not. If you say you don't like the I can say that. Yes, you could. You hear all the stuff that angels say. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. Yes, she don't play guard. When Jen was on the show, the show sounds very different. Yeah, I just want to add, Ms. Beacon, dudes be in that equation because. But wait, let me finish. Angel, let me finish. Angel, let me finish. Okay, okay. Yes, it's like as long as you're at one accord with what you like, but some couples, they are in relationships and they may have a fetish for something that they like and they may not, the couple may not, like I said, oral, like it's a lot of women that say, look, I don't like to give oral, and there's some guys that don't like to give oral, so, well, you got to come to an agreement, is it okay for me to go get it from someone else if you don't want to give it to me, or should I just, you know, go deprive with, you know, Go without getting something that I like sexually, oh, and I right. really want it from you, but you don't even want to try it out. So you have to be open. I'm not saying what you have to be, because some people just don't do it. But is that other person wrong for stepping out on that person when that they not feel comfortable enough to appease their mate's desire? Because I'm thinking that's what a relationship is all about. But when you can come together and say, look. This is what I want to try out, and you can do it together, and it's not no hard feel. Everybody that's listening from this live, you have one minute left. One minute and 36 seconds if you still want to be a part of the show to call in now, honey. 646 668 8783. You have one minute and 26 seconds to call in. I will be ending this live, and the show will be on 
the radio, it will be in record mode, honey. But the only way you can listen from record mode, you have to be on the line before it goes into record mode and you can stay on the show and listen to the show for the final hour of the show. No, yeah, but back to the, like, you should be able to be comfortable enough with your mate. 60 you know, seconds. Club, that would be nice. And let your man get a lap dance and get jealous and try to beat up the stripper or whatever. I think that's the type of woman I am in a relationship. It's like, I could do stuff like that. Now, will I bring a woman back from the strip club and us have a threesome together? No, that's not my thing. But to somebody who... If that is their thing, I'm not going to knock that because that's their thing. Everyone has their own personal preference. But you can't have a double standard and say, say like what you said, for instance, um, Angel. You said pretty much like you still going to get your dick every now and then. But you will not go okay if your boyfriend was doing that in you at all because I know you. But what makes it okay to you do that? So I want to thank everybody. I want to thank everybody that was on the live and that tuned in into the live. But if you didn't call in, the show is now locked. So the live is over. The show is locked. I love y'all all for loving me. Whatever bathroom, whatever alleyway y'all do go into, please practice safe sex and enjoy and enjoy the show. If you definitely did call in, but we out.